All right, we're going to give you four drills really quick with Moose here to, to improve your posture, which is going to improve your ground contact. So ultimately what we're looking for is a triple extension through the body and a, a situation where the chin and the head is not changing our center of mass and moving us forward. So simple way to do this with your athlete is ask the athlete to put the weight of their feet on their on the ball of oh, sorry the weight of their body on the ball of their foot so Moose is going to stand here in a two point position and he's going to sit here he's got the weight right here he's in a nice position now we're going to ask your athlete to drop the chin on the chest and feel the change in the position of that that pressure the pressure moves all the way to their toes so bring him back up stand up Moose so allow the athlete without doing any running to feel the difference between the ball of my foot and the toe Super simple, right? You can take the athlete's head and drop it. You can take the athlete's head and put it back up and the center of mass will drift back. So super simple drill, but it gives the athlete awareness for that positioning. The second drill, so we're gonna take Moose, he's gonna stand up here on, in a two point position. He's gonna do our U drill, put the Miami sign up. So he's sitting like this. He's gonna keep his head up looking through the U and he's gonna do a two point start. So go ahead Moose, push. And what that drill does is it forces him to keep the chin up, forces him to keep the chest up, lift up here, and a follow-on to it is because his center of mass is, is in a great position and he doesn't use the arms for, for balance and power, he's forced to a front side position. He cannot come out the back. It's not possible from this position. So it's a great drill. So those first two are really important for me. One is awareness. Two is we're forcing the athlete into that correct position. The third drill, which I think is really important, Moose is gonna come up here. He's gonna skip into a running position. So he's gonna take two skips and run off it and allow the body to center itself before he runs. This allows him to get in a position of speed without having to push from a stationary position. So Moose is going to do two skips in and run off it. Perfect. So sometimes allowing your athlete movement prior to the acceleration gives them the ability to get in a position that maybe they can't get to from a three point or a two point or a block start position. So great opportunity to find positions using movement. Now, when we do that, that's a baseline drill. That's one we, we start with, okay? That's the beginning of the year. The follow-on to that drill is our falling two-point start. So Moose is gonna go hop in here. He's gonna get in a two-point position, All right? We're gonna set up. Weight is on the ball of his foot, chin's up, and he's gonna get the hands ready. And as he starts to move, he's gonna drop the knee and take off. So just a rolling start or a falling start off one foot. So drop that knee and just roll into it. Very nice. So again, we've taken that moving start and we've kind of found a middle ground between that and a stationary two-point start. So those are my four drills to help you accelerate better, to help your posture, to put that center of mass in the right spot.